Hello and welcome to another amazing episode of this Adobe Photoshop tutorial brought to you by yours truly, OneLearn. In the previous episodes, we talked about using tools like the Clone Stamp 2, the Pattern Stamp 2, History Brush 2, Art History Brush 2, the Eraser 2, the Background Eraser 2, and the Magic Eraser 2. Now, in this video, we're going to get started on the Gradient 2, the Paint Bucket 2, the Blur 2, the Sharpen 2, and the Smudge 2. And we're going to talk about how to use these tools in a project. All right, in this video, we're going to start from the Gradient 2. Now, what is a gradient? A gradient is a mixture of two or more colors. Okay, that is how I would describe a gradient, a mixture of two or more colors. For example, you can look in this direction, you can see a mixture of different colors. These are what we call gradients. Now, in your screen, you would see just from here, probably to this direction, probably. The rest, I downloaded them externally. So we're just going to be working with the first few ones. So I'm just going to give you an idea of how to use this gradient tool. If you want to use a gradient tool, the first thing you do is select the gradient tool. You can pick your color. The first one is basically the a random color and or a color of your choosing and white. The second one is a color of your choosing and transparent, which means one side will be a color of your choosing, the other side will be transparent, or take the background color. The third one is black and white, obviously, and then it goes on and on. This one has three colors, you can see, it has three colors and they are all mixed together. So you can pick whichever one you want to use. And the next thing you would know is, you need to know is, um, how do you want your gradient to be? You can be a linear gradient, which would be either horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. Next one is radial, which means your gradient will be mixed radially. Third one is angle gradient. The fourth one is reflected gradient. And the fifth one is diamond gradient. And we're going to be working with all of them. Let's get started. Okay, um, I'm going to use mix um, color, which is um, the red and white, but in order to change the red and white, I will show you how to change it. All you have to do is click on this place here. It's open up the gradient editor window, and then you can select whichever color you want to select. These are the two colors available, this one here and this one here. So you can pick whatever color you want to change. You can see the color down here, it's red. If you click on this, you can come over here and select whatever color you want. Click OK. And the color, the first color changes. You can come over here and change the second color. But the default is white. But if you want to change the color, you can also change it to a mixture of two different colors. You can now see that we have a mixture of blue and um, purple. So if I click on OK, my setting here is set to linear gradient. Now you can see the plus sign on my screen. That is my gradient icon. Now, if I want to make my gradient, all I have to do is click and drag from one point to another. And that point will show you how your gradient will be arranged linearly. Once I release it, you can see that's my gradient. And you can use this gradient as a background. You can see it actually looks really good and it can be used as a background. The next, okay, I'm going to undo that. The next option is the radial option. I will just click where I start from will be the middle of my circle. And where I end. Uh, you can see that another gradient, but this one is in a radial format. The colors are mixed radially. Then we have angle gradient. You can see the different effects. And then we have another option. You can see this one is um, reflected, two colors on both sides. And the last one is a diamond shaped gradient. Diamond shaped gradient. So that's a different effect. Now the, moving to the next gradient, which is red and um, transparent. Now I would advise you to leave the transparent because that's what we want to work with. And then the first color, let's use blue. Let's use blue. Okay, so I'm going to click and drag. So the way I changed the color just now, what I had to do is come over here, I double clicked, it opened up the color palette and then I selected, okay, 
then click and drag okay so we're on diamond mode this is what i wanted now you can see the effect of the three modes of the fourth mode okay this is an um, angle angle scene is bigger than expected and then you can see the reflected mode so you can see that with the transparent display we can see the blue and we can also see a little bit of red the reason why we have a little bit of red is because when i was selecting here okay so the red is already in the background and i did not change it so we have a little bit of red mixing up with the um, blue so if you want to use your gradient, that's exactly how to go about it. It's not really difficult. What you have to do is select your color. I'm going to start afresh. Click on your gradient tool. Come over here. Select the kind of gradient you want to use. Click in here. Click the first node. Pick a color. The second node. Pick a color. The third node. Pick a color. Sorry, this is me adding a node. And pick a color so now we have three different colors and they are all mixed together you can see how they are mixed together once i click on ok and i drag you can see the colors just the way i have selected them right just now in my gradient editor and that is how you use the um, gradients tool in photoshop now let's move on to the next tool which is the paint bucket so the paint bucket tool is an important tool that can be used when you are about to paint a particular area in your workspace with the same color now i have to be specific about the same color because this works like the magic wand too where all the background areas are too but rather than removing the area or selecting the area this time you just change the pot and the the color <coughs> So we're going to test that out now. Let's test out the, the paint bucket too. We're going to select the color. Let's use the proper color. Okay. Now you can see that this area has similar um, amount of um, similar amount of, sim similar colors. Sorry. So all I have to do is I already clicked on my bucket so I just go over there and click on it and you can see that it changes the color. It tries as much as possible to change the color to whatever you want it to be. But if your color is actually pretty smooth, for example, okay, let's use this because there's a logo over here. Let's say I want to change the color that is in this place. The color is actually straightforward. So I can easily just change it by clicking and you can see no stress. Anywhere I click, I can easily change the color of that particular area using the paint bucket too. Now that is another way of changing color in um, Adobe Photoshop. Now moving on, let's use the blur tool. Now as the name implies, the blur tool is actually being used to blur a particular area on your workspace. You can choose the size and hardness of the brush of your blur tool. Then just go over to where you want to blur and click and drag and it will blow that area you can see the hair of this lady being blurred out as i select it there we go that is how you use the blow too you can use it to blow out the background you can use the blow out whatever you want to it just it all depends on how you want to use it all you have to do is click on the part you want to blow and use it like a brush just keep brushing that particular area and you notice that there is a blow coming up on that area in which you are using your blow to at that point and that's how you use the blow to in photoshop the next two is the sharpen tool the sharpen tool is the same thing with the blow tool is like a brush so you just click and keep dragging you'll be able to see the effect of your um of your what do we call it the sharpen tool we just basically used for sharpening an area of your um your workspace you can see now you can see the sharpening effect i've added to this particular area on our workspace um, please bear with me my photoshop is still loading but that is basically how you use it. all you have to do is just click on where you want to click on and then um print over the area you want to straighten so you have to sharpen and you would have the sharpen effect applied to that particular area now moving on we'll talk about the 
smudge tool. Now the smudge tool still works like the, the other ones. I'll increase the hardness to 10. Okay, let's reduce it. Let's use um, a lighter, a smaller hardness. Uh, we have the smudge tool. The smudge tool, let me just show you what it does. It's easier for me to show you than to explain. You can see it adds a smudge effect on your workspace so you can see this much effect i am currently adding on this picture so if you want to add this much effect um, you can easily just use the smudge tool it's not really much work all you have to do is click on the tool click on where you want to smudge and just keep painting or i just act like you're painting and to create the smudge effect on your adobe photoshop project In this video, we talked about using the gradient to the paint bucket to and uh, the blur to and the, sh the sharpen to and the smudge to. In the next video, we're going to talk about using tools like the dodge to the bone to the sponge to and maybe we'll get started on the paint tool. The paint tool is actually a very useful tool in Adobe Photoshop, and we're going to talk about how to use the paint tool in our next video.